Texas is already organizing trips to Colorado to take advantage of the new pot laws there. But state drug test forces are going to be watching for people with just such a plan. Craig Andrick has more. On any given day, Bart Allen can be found at the family coffee shop serving up lattes. But starting this weekend, he's serving up a Rocky Mountain High. His minibus with the dark windows will drive Kansans to Colorado to get high. No, you can't interview my customers. They're going to be hiding on the floor when we leave here. <laughs> yes, some Kansans are still nervous about smoking pot, even legally in Colorado. So they'll take this bus ride for $420. And Bart is very clear what is smoked in Colorado stays in Colorado. We do not intend on bringing drugs back. But officers fighting the drug traffic across state lines, not so sure. I do believe that marijuana will be brought back in through his business. Uh, whether it's at his direction or with his knowledge, I do believe it's going to happen. Jim Norton is with the Kansas I-70, I-135 Interstate Drug Task Force. He says ever since Colorado loosened its pot laws about a year and a half ago, the high-grade stuff has really been moving into Kansas. We're seeing an enormous upswing in, in marijuana coming from Colorado being imported. But Bart maintains he won't be one of them, and neither will his clients. And he says if the cops do pull him over, he says his medicinal marijuana excursion bus will be weed-free. I don't anticipate any problem. Our vehicle is outlined with cameras, and every conversation is is, is recorded. So, um, you know, like I said, they have said they will target us for taking old people out to seek help for medical conditions. I can live with that. The owner of a company called 420 Bus Tours is offering tours of Colorado head shops. For about 50 bucks, a person will travel to glass blowing shops, grow facilities, and Denver pot dispensaries. Times are changing. Yeah, yes, they are quickly. And have in the past as well. It was seven years.